Oh snap. I know the camera's on. What's good, Naruto? Taze? Got a story time today for y'all, but first I got some news. I'm gonna try to move to California next year in 2020. Um, I've been in contact with like a, <coughs> a well-known famous YouTuber, you know. Luckily, you know, he was able to see my work and communicate with me here and there. So this summer I got a video coming out. Um, y'all gonna see it this summer, I'm gonna be in his video. Um, I think, you know, that'd be a pretty cool move for me, whatever, but let's cut off the nonsense, let's get to the story time. So for those who don't know, I work at Abercrombie & Fitch. Abercrombie & Fitch is a retail store in the Westchester Mall. Um, now I'm a key holder, which is a sales supervisor, so I'm like the first tier of the third tier of the managers or whatever. Um, which is like, I'm the lowest manager basically. Um, so every once in a while when the phone rings or whatever, I'm probably the first person that picks it up simply because I'm on the floor, I'm not really doing all the stuff the representatives are doing. I'm just like walking around and supervising the floor. So this one day I go pick up the phone and it's a guy who gets on the phone. He's breathing weird, he's on the phone like, oh, um, do you guys sell like extreme skinny jeans? And I'm just like, yeah we do. Um, actual name of the gene is Austin Extreme Skinny Gene. He goes, oh wow, you know, my name's Austin. And I'm like, that's that's cool. So he's asking me what I wear the jeans, right? And I'm just like, nah, I wouldn't personally wear the jeans because one, the jeans are too skinny. I don't like jeans that are too skinny. You know, like I wear skinny jeans or like super skinny jeans, but if I'm wearing super skinny jeans, I'm a sag them. So I told him like, these jeans are way too skinny for me. Um, I just wouldn't buy them, but I think they're really nice jeans for people who like super skinny jeans. So then he goes, he cuts right to the chase, and I mean right to the chase and goes, oh, well you see, the reason I'm trying to find out is because, is because I don't know if I could wear these jeans because I'm packing, if you know what I mean, and I'm like, packing what? Now, I kind of had an idea what packing means, but I had to clarify, bro, because I was just like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't think someone would say that over the phone. So he goes, oh, well, in other terms, I got a lot of beef. And I'm like, hey, yo, bro. Like, I, I automatically was like, hey, yo, on the phone. Like, I didn't even mean to say that because I'm trying to be professional. So he's like, I got a lot of beef. And I'm like, hey, yo. Oh, I mean, my, 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 my fault. Like, you know, um, that's cool, sir. Um, yeah, like I said, I just changed the subject. I was like, yeah, I don't really wear them. Um, it's just not like my liking. And then he goes right into it and he's like, so are you experiencing the same problems as me? Is your beef in the way? And I'm just like, what? My response was, what does food have to do with this, bro? Cause I'm not trying to, you know, I know what he's trying to ask me, bro. But I'm just like, nah, what's food have to do with this? He goes, oh no, no, no. I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about like, like, are you packing? Like he was like, I'm talking about your dick. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Man, I, I was just like, well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. You know, that's something I'd rather not talk about. So he goes on and says like, okay, um, I'm skinny, I'm 5'8", and you know, I'm super skinny. What type of build are you? You, you sound pretty big and strong. And I'm just like, you know, I play basketball, like not anymore, I stopped playing, but like, uh, you know, I just play basketball, whatever. I'm not that tall. I'm like, I said, I'm six foot. And he was like, oh, that sounds pretty hot. And I'm just like, okay. Um, all right. He says, what's your name, sir? I'm said, my name is Tejan. And I have to give him that name because, you know, I'm the manager. I got to, you know, just in case he has a problem or something like that, I have to give him my name. And, you know, he was like, he asked me, so, oh, you sag your pants? And I say, yeah, I, sometimes I sag my jeans. So I'm just like, fuck. He knows my name. He knows how tall I am. He knows what I'm built like. And now he knows I sag my pants. He knows I'm black, <laughs> cause I'm not trying to say only black people sag my pants, but yeah, ah, uh, fuck it. Anyway, he changes the subject. He's um, we're, we're both on the website together. Mind you, this conversation on the phone is 20 minutes, and the other managers are sitting around just looking at me, just listening to the phone call. Like they're not mad, they're just laughing, cause other managers are all in their 20s, like they're they're all girls, so they're just laughing, cause they can see how uncomfortable I am, and I'm right behind the register. Mind you, I'm behind the register, and this guy is trying to ask me about my beef. So there's people. Like associates ringing out other people, and they're hearing me talk about my beef. Like, like, what does it look like when someone's like, "Hey, do you have this in a size nine? And I'm in the background, like, "Yeah, my beef." Like, they're probably like, "The fuck? Like, why is he talking about his beef on the register, bro?" Like, but mind you, I'm uncomfortable. So he goes on uh, to ask me, "What would the jeans look like on somebody?" So I navigate him to the website. I'm on the website on Honeywell, which is like a phone with a little, you know, little computer. It's like an iPhone or iPod, whatever. I'm on there looking at the models, the dudes who wear the jeans. And one of the models is Asian, the other model's white, and the other model's black. And the, the model that's black, they don't show his face. And he's like, damn, he looks real sexy. I wish they showed his face, don't you agree? And I was like, uh, you know, I pretty, you know, I assume all the models are pretty handsome, you know, they're models, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, whatever. So 
long story short, we end that conversation. Um, I basically was like, you know, I don't think there's anything else I can help you with. If you need to, any more questions, just call back. So I'm sitting there telling my manager this whole story. And my store manager walks in and I'm telling her the story and she doesn't believe me, right? She's like, oh, they're capping, big capper. So we're in the back office where I'm telling her and the phone rings. So I pick up the phone and it's the same dude 20 minutes later and I'm just perfect. So I put it on speaker, right? I put it on speaker and I guess you can hear his echo from it being on speaker. So he's like, oh, I can't hear you. I can't, I can't hear you. Just trying to get me to take the phone off speaker. So I take it off speaker, but I have my store manager kind of put her ear next to the phone. The dude is asking me, what size underwear do I wear? And then when I wear my boxes, does my dick hang out, bro? I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, what are you really calling for, bro? What are you, what are you really calling for? Mind you, I didn't even tell y'all. I forgot to tell y'all. The whole fucking conversation, he's breathing heavy, bro. So like, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about from Friday when D's like, uh, Please just stand there. Uh, 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 fat little cupcakes and shit. This fat bitch know about all the new snacks before they even hit the street. All the bootleg snacks. The year 2000 snacks. I'm talking about, he's on the phone like, uh, okay, so what size underwear do you wear? Uh, uh, does your dick hang out? Hey, fucking yo, bro. What do you mean does my dick, does your dick hang out? Like, I'm not about to ask him that, but whatever. Hangs up. I hang up. Whatever. Probably thinking it's over, right? Four days later, he calls back. My, all my managers know the story. They think it's funny. We're talking about it. He calls. The first question is the same thing he says the last time. Do you guys sell any, like, super skinny jeans? And I'm just like, bro, it's the same nigga, and I know he knows it's me. So I'm like, oh, one second, sir, I'm checking someone out. So, so I get my other manager. She's a girl. She comes, she picks up the phone. She starts talking to him on speaker. As soon as he hears he's a girl, he hangs up. Okay. Now, yesterday, now, mind you, th these phone calls started a month ago. Yesterday, he calls the store, asks the same question. I put it on speaker. I say, yo, one second, I'm, I'm ringing somebody out. I'm about to go grab the other girl manager, you know, because the other one's not here to answer the phone last time, just so she could hear it because she's never heard it. I put, I pick up the phone. She picks it up for me, she answers. She's like, thanks for holding. And he goes, what time do you guys close? She goes, nine. And the guy fucking hangs up. So most y'all just looking at this shit like, oh, it's just some, um, like, oh, I forgot to tell you. He told me he was gay, obviously, you know? And I, you know, I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. I mean, it's whatever. But it's like, you're breathing heavy. You only want to talk to me on the phone and you're making all these noises. Either you're on YouTube pranking me and you're beating your shit on the phone. Yeah, so look, I'm gonna leave that up for interpretation for y'all, YouTube. To me, I think that shit is crazy. Comment, like, subscribe. If you think this is creepy or whatever, I'm gonna let y'all know if he pulls up to the store. We got the theory that he's been in the store and he probably looks at me and knows what I look like and all that. I just don't know. I'm just hoping it's not like that, but listen, man, thank y'all for watching the video. Thank y'all for being loyal. Like I said, I got a lot of news coming up for y'all. I got social experiments about to be booming, dropping one a week, dropping one social experiment a week started next week. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we go viral off of that. When I say we, I don't mean me. I mean all my Narates out there. You feel me? So let's get it. And cut the camera off.